let me just start by talking about um, a topic that, that keeps coming up and I'll probably be commenting on it forever. <laughs> it has to do with this, um, with a couple of things. One is the, the issue of, of needs, wants, whatever you want to call them. Although calling them needs seems to make them somehow special. And uh, also, uh, this idea of overwhelm. So I'm, I'm going to borrow something here from a colleague, Brandon Archer. Well, we've done a lot of stuff together over the last year or more. Um, you'll hear him be part of our podcasts that we've done, particularly the ones on, um, you know, we, he did one on communication with men between men and women and uh, he was also part of the panel often on our um, I don't want to I don't want to fuck if I can't feel your love those were lively conversations but here he's putting out a call he's putting out some questions he's asking are you are you a man in your late 30s are you in your to late 40s are you in a long-term relationship that is not going well are you at your wit's end as to what to do? Couple therapy isn't working or doesn't appeal to you. Are you worried you might lose your partner, your house, your kids? Are you sick of hearing from your partner that you need to change that, that you need to change and it's not her? Are you feeling shame because you feel frozen or like you failed and that you should know how to be in a relationship, but the reality is you don't? Are you at the edge of giving up? Now I'm going to include a link to Brandon's, how you can get in touch with Brandon because he he really wants to work with, <clears throat> he's looking right now, he says he's looking for three men to work with on these issues. And, and if you're a man who can answer any of those questions, then he wants to work with you. And, and if you're a man who can answer any of those questions, I encourage you to get in touch with Brandon or any of the other, there's many, there's many of us out there who are doing there's lots of men out there doing great stuff. And I applaud Brandon for being so concise and, and, and they're really asking some questions that <clears throat> when we're in our 30s and our 40s, and for some of us it's true into our 50s and 60s too, um, there's just this feeling of overwhelm and particularly to do with this, this feeling that we need to somehow balance although it feels mostly like juggling relationship, work, ourselves, whatever we might want or think we need, kids if we've got them, aging parents if we've got them. There's lots of reasons to feel like there's just too much going on. Now in the way that I work with things, all of that is represented as the feminine. All of the things that change, as David Data, one of my teachers says, everything that changes is this thing called the feminine. That's in us, it's, it's in the nature around us, it's in the world around us, it's in the women around us. And yeah, I remind, it, it, it is in us. And the masculine is the capacity to hold the space for this. It doesn't mean balancing. It doesn't mean juggling. It doesn't mean doing anything. It does mean learning to sit and allow, witness. 
most of all, it means to be able to enjoy without having to do anything. Now that's, that's super hard. I mean, it's simple. I keep coming up with this thing when I'm writing these days. It's like, it's simple, but it's hard. And again, that's why it's, it, it pays dividends to work with coaches, teachers like Brandon. And if you work with me, you know, my particular focus is you know, what I've learned from David Data and John Wineland specifically. And I love how John puts it, you know, like the, that the real change doesn't happen in our minds. It happens in our bodies or it starts in our bodies. And it starts by how we breathe, how we hold ourselves, how we connect to the earth. And as he says, this is a yogic approach. You might eventually want to do therapy. But a good place to start is just to feel how your, how your body feels. And for most of us, when we're in that 30s to 40s to 50s range where a lot of stuff is happening, that seems to be placing incredible endless demands on us, it's really important to keep checking into our body and to do doing even small things to just ground, to breathe, to step back from that, that feeling of, whoa, I'm, it's too much, and just feel how, you know, how am I feeling? Not just the panic, but also you know, what's behind that? Because there's something deeper than that. There's a part of you that, as David Data says, that hasn't changed since you were, you know, a four or five year old boy, a three year old boy. There's, and the work is to remember that. That there's still this sense, there's this, this innocent, open, capacity to witness and enjoy everything that life brings. And that takes practice. And that may be why you're here. That's why I'm here. <laughs> you know, practice has brought me here. And it's one of the things that when I'm working with men, I really want to encourage you to whatever practices I, I teach you is to take them and share them with, with guys you know, because we're all struggling. It's very few of us, and particularly in our 30s and our 40s and into our 50s, who aren't struggling with something. And having a practice is a way to not eliminate the struggle, but to step back into a, a calm place and be able to appreciate what's going on beyond the, the feeling of panic. And lots of times that's, in my experience, uh, things resolve as soon as I become still. As soon as I detach from this feeling like I have to do something, I want to feel it all. Yeah, even the hard stuff, I, I really want to feel it but I want to detach from it. I, I don't want to feel like it's driving what I, what I do. So this isn't some kind of heroic, masculine, warrior, stony presence. It's a, it's actually much stronger than that because you, you hold yourself still, allow all of the feelings to come and move through you. And then the right thing to do, and sometimes the right thing to do is just to, to witness and to listen. That's often the case with, with, with any woman you're with or any child you're with. They don't actually need you to do much more than hold the space. 
and that's super hard. Especially when you see people, when I've seen, you know, people I love doing things that I think are damaging to them and I think are damaging to our relationship or the family or whatever. It's hard to hold the space. One of the things that, one of the deepest things we can do is to make sure everybody's safe. Safe for, for the child to have a tantrum without consequences for anybody. You know, I'm sure we have to put up with some yelling and screaming maybe, but it's not going to kill me. And it's the same with an adult woman. I mean, there's been times in my life where I certainly felt like, oh, this is going to kill me. And I've reacted to that. But now I'm looking at it like, well, that's, that's interesting. Like what a, what a lot of pain there is. And this comes, to, <laughs> you know, it happened recently with a man. So it's not just women, you know, it's, the feminine, this flow, this energy, this our fear, our anger, all that stuff, it's in all of us. You know, I had a man get really angry with me. And you know, there was nothing for me to do except say, you know, I'm here. If you if you want to talk, I'm here. So I'll put that out to you. I'm here. If you want to talk, um, you know, this is how I make a living. So you can book time it's for money. You can also book a short chat at no charge because it's good to check each other out or for you to check me out, see if you feel safe with me. And again, you know, I started with this reference to Brandon and I'll continue that, you know, like check out what Brandon Archer is doing. Check out what John Wyland's doing. Check out what Justin Patrick Pierce is doing. Check out what David Data is doing. There are, there's, there's a lot of men doing great stuff out there. And I'm not saying that I'm in, in that league. Um, but maybe there, you know, there's a fit for you and I. And even if there isn't, Find a practice, find some way of just slowing down and noticing, especially when you're starting to feel overwhelmed. Thanks for listening.